moving on, let's welcome Seto all the way down there from the Volta region. And then we shift a little bit up all the way to the Upper East region for Wedaga. Hey. <laughs> so Seto, number nine, and then Wedaga. <laughs> Upper East, very old. Looking all beautiful. Let's see the dance. Go girls, go girls, go girls. Where that guy is actually dancing. I know. Wow. <laughs> go set up. Go set up. Hey. Hey. It's a Volta and Upper East affair. I love them. Hey. Let's go. <laughs> Fantastic. Good to have you two right here. You look beautiful. Thank you so Thank much. You. you look beautiful too. Thank you. <laughs> Charlie, you guys are in the top six. So, Volta region and Upper East. Did you even think for a moment that you make it to this point? Wadaga. Um, uh, um, Cookie, right from the onset, I used to say something mm. and I keep on saying it. Wadaga means God is great. Mm -hmm. And in every step that I take, God shows his greatness in it. So I knew very well that this journey that I was embarking on, God was taking the lead. And I knew he was going to take me places that I would not even imagine he will. So at every point in time, I just left it to him. I just said, Father, take the lead mm. and let me follow. And that was it. Congratulations. I, I, I is, love that. I mean, as a father. <laughs> and the, first, um, the fourth time that Upper East is coming again in the finals. Yes. Consistently. Mm. Yes. You haven't disappointed your people. No. Upper <laughs> East, a round of applause for Wedaga. <laughs> I can see them jumping <laughs> out there. <laughs> Davi. Hello, Cookie. Congratulations Thank to you, you as so well. Much. One of the things I learned from you was when you brought us education on why Airways are called number nine. You remember the beauty pageant? Yes. yes. But you are one strong lady as well. Anita, a few of them have actually gotten sick and Seto yes, is, is, is one yeah. of such. I remember. And when I saw Seto, the way she was sick, I was like, Lord, please come through for her. How was that moment for you? <laughs> Cookie, you can't imagine. Um... I, had, I was in Holy Trinity that week. Um, I don't know. There was a lot going through my mind. I was asking myself, was I going to be evicted because um, I wasn't well? I asked myself so many questions, questions that week. And I'm like, not this early, week two in the competition. I haven't even been able to showcase anything that I have in store. What is God going to do? But Cookie, I prayed. I prayed. I kept praying. I cried and I prayed. And guess what? That week, I came back, I climbed the stage, and I won Star Performer. Wow. <laughs> I remember it very, very, very well. He says that by his stripes, we are healed. So his stripes healed you, and he actually showed up with you that and night. And he has been showing himself all through this journey. Right. Because my being here is a miracle. I've gone through so many phases. It has taught me that I am strong. Mm. It has taught me that God is always with me. It has taught me that... I am born for greatness. Mm. Like, God will never leave me at any point. Because the journey, I always say, all of them know, I always say, it's been a roller coaster. Even before I auditioned for um, GMB, mm. there's been so many things, so many emotional moments. But God has always shown himself for me. And so I, I feel like I'm a special child. Like my name says, Seto. I'm God's own. Right. And he answers me, Seto. So, yeah. I think these are two prophetesses we have right here. It's been an interesting journey for the both of you. Congratulations again Thank for you. making Thank it you. to top six. Anita, for this set, which one should we start with? High moments or low moments? No, I, I actually think we should take a look at their journey so far right, before in the competition. And then when we come back, we right. get into their highs and their lows. I know they have a lot to tell us. So let's take a look at how it's been right here on this platform for Wedaga and Seto. Tonight, I am going to be taking you through a cultural, historic, and insightful tour. Some centuries ago, the phrase, a woman's place is only in the kitchen, was widely accepted by people all over the world, and especially in the Volta region. Tonight, I'm going to be telling you about a woman who broke these barriers. <laughs> Ya 
You seem happy tonight. Yes. Why are you dressed like this? I just remembered some pages in history. When it comes to music and dance, I can proudly say that the Volta region is none but the best. This is why I invite you to the Dodo Legri Mesa, a derba of chiefs and merrymaking, celebrated by different groups in the Volta region at different times of the year to mark their freedom from the wicked king of Apollo. Tonight, I came in with the Adabu, the hunter's drum, which is also gold as the warrior's dance. We should always remember Whatever you sow, you will. Time walks, the cuddles and the giggles, the midnight talks, the kisses and the candles. And every time I saw you, I prayed the time will not dwindle. My love for you rang in my heart like a jingle. Clap for me. Thank you. Let me keep my bag down and tell you. As you can see, the whole atmosphere is heightened with celebration as culture is at its peak. Janma, to play a Thomas Wes when I mass him like a dicky botmala. You talk on another day can be here to do. But Tongrana imass him to a batala. Ho upper East Nagana de Mawula, the poor Janma Lawa Kala like a servant to win a bocala. Janma, you do it. Assalamu alaikum, Assalamu alaikum. Maherba, welcome. When I say Assalamu Alaikum, you respond Walaikum Salam. Assalamu Alaikum. Masha Allah. It's me, Fatima Bint Muhammad Al Fihria. Anna Muslima, Anna Maghribiya. Antibody, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Pala Bunukuk, the great Tengdana of the Tinsung Shrine. Welcome you all to the sacred sacrifice celebration of the people of Tongo. The Tenzong Shrine has been named by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. This place served as a hideout for people during the times of slavery. Fine girl, tell me the truth. Are you married? See, if you are not married, don't worry me. I get you 12 cows. See? The Zugrana has reduced the number of cows to only two. It means that me, I can marry you. Then you stay in Boku, you don't go to that Ankara again. Stay with me, you become my Amaria. My greatest inspiration to become a lawyer and my heroine is no other person than a woman that I refer to as the lioness of the Upper East region of Ghana. Well, be sure you day. If you come start, the people they love you. <laughs> you go make them. People want to see you. But I they can see you. Yes, that is true. Hello, say. Can you please tell us your name and why you decided to grace this occasion? <laughs> Thank you. My name is Azuri. I am a native of Boku, but I live in India. <laughs> Definitely 12 weeks went by so fast and ladies, quite an interesting journey. Let me start with you, Adaga. What has been your highest moment, highest on the show? It could be on the stage or even backstage. Any of, you know, the moments that you've had and then it got you really excited. Hmm, Anita, that's going to be really difficult to, to choose point one. Out. Yes. So how many can you select? Everything. Oh, so the entire competition. The entire competition has been high for me. Because, yes, if, if you follow the trend of the judges' comments about me always, it's either you're such a passionate person about your region or you're such a confident lady, the fierce lady. It's always been something like that. So for me, every time I come on this stage, I present myself. I always say I represent a people. I come to tell their untold stories. And I'm passionate about them. I love what I do. So I just come and represent them and do my thing. That's but it. does it mean you don't have any low moments? Chese, no. we're dagger. Chese. You know something? <laughs> Chese, yes. we're dagger. Um, Cookie, there's, there's this thing. I have this principle of experience. And that is, 
I, I learn from every experience, the lesson that I derive from it. My brother taught me something, mm. and that is there's an aesthetic value of evil. And that in every disappointment, once you can spell appointment, then it means that there is a positivity to it. So you should channel your energy towards the positive side. So if you see that probably for my first, the first time I hit this stage, I opened the show. And Auntie Jubadi was like, nice opening, great, you did well, you're confident. But I felt you would represent your people with a smoke. But because I was coming for um, a presentation, I felt that maybe a smart casual yeah. would do. But then, since then, it stuck with me. So I realized that, yes, it is true, indeed. I came to represent the Upper East region. I came to represent the people. So from there, I would take notice of it. So for me, there has not been any low moments. I've learned from it. So it's been a high moment for me. It's, it's the confidence for <laughs> exactly. me. Exactly. The confidence for me. Like, <laughs> you, you can't tell her nothing. Except all. <laughs> You, yeah, you, also, you also have the same experience, or for you, you have some highs and some lows. Oh, I mean. We all have high moments and low moments. Um, for me, it's very interesting, because um, there's one thing that uh, Mr. Fritz always says about me that I think is me. He was able to deduce that from day one, is that I'm a very daring person. And even coming into GMB has even been daring for me, taking into consideration my profession and then having to come into GMB anyways. What most viewers don't know is that most of my high moments were my low moments as well. How, how is that possible? Okay, so I'm going to explain. There are four, four performances that stick with me. One I've already talked about, which is um, the day I won Star Performer. I was actually sick, and I came onto the stage, climbed the stage. It was one of my lowest moments. Like, I was in the hospital the whole time, came on the stage, and I won Star Performer. The second one that I remember is um, the day of the One Africa. Trust me, so much was going on that week, even with my dress. So for me to have come on the stage and my dress was the highlight of the night, trust me, I don't want to even go <laughs> on mean, about all the things that happened the about issue with my Claudia. dress. Yeah. <laughs> but then for me to come on stage and then the dress was the highlight of the night, I was like, God is still in the miracle business. Like, I mean, he's not about to leave me. Then the Bobobo night, my mic went off. I had to go backstage and come back and start. That would have broken most people on the stage. But then I came back, I took it, brought out the lioness that was in me, and I won most eloquent that night. So that's also one very low moment for me. That turned into a high moment. The one performance that I really enjoyed till now is the talent night. That was the day I did a love poem with a love setting and everything, where most people didn't even know I could speak Spanish. They got to know then that I could speak Spanish. And then that week, I was really going through a lot of emotions. So much was going on in my personal life. But I came, I, di I didn't even think I could stand on the stage and then deliver that poem the way I did it. And even after I did it, I was in so much emotions, I almost cried on the stage. I just held it together and then made sure that the tears didn't drop. Because they tell us all the time that as queens, you should always smile. And sometimes it's really hard to smile, but like, you still have to smile. And then the comments from the judges were pretty positive that night. And I think the impact there on after with people, like the comments I got in my mail, they didn't know I could speak Spanish, could be so fluent in two international languages like that, I mean, those were some of my lowest moments, but they turned out to be like my highest moments. So that's what most viewers don't know. Most of my highest moments were my lowest moments in the competition. I the think competition. I now get it. Yeah. It, it makes a lot of sense because I remember during the cooking competition, Sato was just all over the place. She wasn't well at all. But you know what? She still pulled through and not at any point did she say that, okay, I don't want to do this anymore. She was with us throughout. I'm like, sit down, and she's like, oh, no. I mean, she, she, she's very strong. Same as we're Daga. It's a daring Exactly. Anybody. You two ladies yeah. were absolutely proud of you. Yeah. Thank you so much. And you've much. done yeah. absolutely well. Yeah. And being yeah. here alone shows that you're all winners. All absolutely beautiful winners. Now, the judges have given you lots of comments. I'm starting with you, Seto. <laughs> you and it's no good eh? you know, on, on social media that night. Your lady. When we post Seto, is the it, comments. Is it that night we are talking about? You, that, you that know, night, you the know, fashion with, night. With the fashion ah! night. Seto, and you know, you were really graceful on the stage. You carried the outfit so well. 
And of course, Claudia had her opinions, <laughs> but you took the comment in so well. But how did it entirely make you feel? There are people who have been wondering since that day that, okay, how did she take it? And they want to know. So tell us. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to be open before the finals. I actually didn't appreciate the comments one bit. Not um, because, okay, throughout the competition, from day one to now, I think most of the comments that have come from judges have been very positive. Um, the few things that they'll point out for me have been very constructive. And I always say that you cannot expect everybody to like everything you do all the time. It's not about not liking it, but it's about the way you put it across to the person. And that was how I felt about what Claudia said. Mm. Obviously, I wasn't going to react because I'm not that kind of a person exactly. to react. But then again, I feel she could have said it better. Mm -hmm. She could have been more diplomatic about it, probably more polite, if for lack of better words about it. Uh, I remember that comment very well. I will never forget it. She said, you only put this on somebody you want to embarrass going to a party. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, who says that to a person? This is a human being like with emotions and everything. You could have just said, I didn't like the dress. Your designer didn't do a good job. And I think um, you can discuss it with him and do a better job later. And I think that would have been more constructive. I think that's what GMB is about, yeah. shaping us into better people. Well, I have a follow-up a follow question um, about that night. I had the opportunity to talk to you on TV3 New Day yeah. about that particular episode. And I know that Rider One has clothed you even Several subsequently, times, yes, yes. Um, um, after that night. What was his reaction towards... Um, I don't think he took it in well either. Okay. Because for him, he was like, this is somebody who is in the fashion industry. And you are talking to a fellow designer. You probably have worked with designers and models. Mm. So there were better ways to um, talk about the, the outfit. outfit than to have gone that way. He didn't take it in well. And I, I appreciate why he would feel that way. But did it by any chance enhance the subsequent outfits that he made Rida for you? Ryder is a good designer. Mm. Irrespective. Like, he is a good designer. Obviously... Um, it's not every time that everything will go. We are human beings with flaws. I mean, we, we are not, there's nobody who is 100%. And no matter how good you are at anything, there are times when you have very low moments. So, yes. And the truth is, there was really nothing wrong with that dress. I critically had, I went back to look at the pictures to see what actually What's wrong was with the dress? wrong with the dress. And I began to figure out that it was actually the petticoat that was put under it. Because mm. the petticoat was broken. And so it made the gown look clumsy and, uh, and that was it. It wasn't really about the dress because it was right. a ball gown that right. was sewn. Right. So yes, going forward, these are things that my designer and I will have a look did at. Did he make, did he make he what you're Ryder, wearing? Ryder made what Oh, so he made this yes. one. But I think he, he's been styling you yeah. all, all through yeah, the yeah, That's what I said. He's a fantastic. Yeah. Tattoo, get up and let's see Ryder's. Oh, I love, oh. <laughs> show us. I know. <laughs> Ryder I know. one could talk. Right. <laughs> Ryder one. Styles were daggers. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. styles were daggers as well. Yeah. You, you ladies are twinning when it comes to the same designer. I know. But for you as well, Wedaga, the comments from the judges, I think averagely the comments have been very good and for our last, um, you know, uh, live show, the comments were extremely good yeah, for you. Yeah, very, very good. Very, very good. And so I do not know how you feel about them since you haven't really gotten a lot of the, you know, not too good ones, yeah. but how have you generally accepted all the comments that have come from the judges? Um, uh, quickly, as I earlier on told you, um, sorry, Anita, mm. as I earlier on said, the... It depends on how you take it. For me, if it is negative, I sit down, I ask myself, what did you say? You said probably you did not do this well. Did I do it well? No. Okay. Moving forward, what must I do? So I come back and do it properly so that you don't get the opportunity to say that. I asked you to do this the last time, but you did not do it. So for that, I, I have always taken their comments seriously. Mm. I have always learned from it. So I've always come back as a better person, and I've not gotten any negative comment from I, you. I, I have you. a question like you. for Wadaga. You seem to talk with a lot of confidence. Let me ask you how you have coped in this house. Your preparation, was it home preparation or preparation right here in the mansion? When you say home preparation. Did you really prepare from home before coming before into coming this? For GMB. Exactly. I want to understand what your output <laughs> for this competition has been. Okay. For GMB, it's, it has been a dream since I was a child. I have always dreamed to become a queen. If you watch my dad, but you would see it. Mm. I was always like, yes, I can become a GMB queen one day. I can represent my people. Mm. 
I, I love who I am. Wherever I go to, if you ask me, where do you come from? I tell you, I'm from Dorba, Navrongo. I want you to know. Mm. Yes. Mm. And, and when, you're com when you're coming to Navrongo, Dorba is one of the towns that you get to before you get to Naengmia. Okay. It's a very big town. Right. And I'm proud of my roots. I'm proud of my people. I was born in Boku. I tell you, yes, I was born in Boku. I'm a Boku girl. I know Borga. I know Sandema. So, like... You know I, your way yes, around. Yes, I know my way <laughs> around. She, she's so proud of where hey, she comes from. It's so beautiful. I, I, I like the confidence. Right. <laughs> you have to take me to Boko one of these days. I will. I, I'm waiting after the competition. Well, Sato, you have to take me to where you come from. The well. <laughs> yeah. You missed that trip to Sogakope, actually. It was fun. <laughs> It was? it was. It was. Yeah, awesome. we saw the video. It was awesome. We saw so the video. Probably we'll go together. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> we are going to Boku. We are going to Sugar Coffee. Yeah. <laughs> there's something. There's there's this popular cliche that if you know where you are coming from, mm. you know where you are headed towards. Mm. So that is me. We're Daga for you from the Upper East region and Seto as well from the Volta region. Well, they've had nice things to say about the judges, but Seto, yeah, not too good um, about that night that Claudia bombarded her with that comments. But let's take the judges' comments on these ladies' performance as they journeyed on GMB 2021. Move over to Fritz and find out what he thinks about Seto's performance. Um, you did well uh, in singing in 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 ever. You, I you didn't actually we didn't know what you were singing because some of us don't understand ever. But I think you put your point across. You are a very daring young woman, and and you go into places where other people do not reach. So I I compliment you. Congratulations. Your delivery was excellent. You you were a great storyteller. And I could feel that she had inspired you. So well done. You opened the show in a great way. Thank well you. done. I've never come across this festival, despite the fact that I have quite a lot of friends from the Volta region. Um, you've taught me quite a lot. Um, you are a very daring young lady. And so I will applaud you for that. And that's what I'll say. You did extremely well. Let me go to Janet and find out her thoughts on such a performance. <laughs> Look, today you did something, and that something you did was differentiation, and that was uniqueness, and that was authenticity. You actually, today, you made me look at you differently. Because all this while, you have been the lady, the composed settle. But today, you just took everything off. And to show that you're proud of your heritage, you did very, very well. You got me dancing, you got Jigbadi dancing, you got Akwaba dancing. So hey girl, you did good. Well done. At all. Mm. Very well done. Very well put. Your performance was excellent. And um, I will give you a green, definitely. It's three greens for Seto. Three greens for Seto. I've been looking forward to going to Morocco, honestly. I've never been there. And I like uh, the way you started your performance. As we know, religion actually is the essence and the soul of every country. So I'm happy, and I'm happy you stayed in character. I was expecting, I mean, when you said belly dance, I'm like, okay, here we go. I'm waiting <laughs> for this. And then, you know, of course, because of what you're wearing, you couldn't take everything off and do the belly dancing. But, but maybe next time you grace us with the belly dance. Yeah, okay, <laughs> well done. What will be your assessment of her performance tonight? School girl. Yes, buddy. <laughs> I liked your, the story. I got the moral from it. I learned something new, actually. Uh, we're just commenting on it here. The voice and everything was really like a school girl. So you tried. It, it got distracting, but you brought everything together home at the end. So well done. Wedaga, wedaga. Mommy. Tingana, tingana. Yes, mommy. You need to repeat that one for me. The beginning. <laughs> okay. The beginning. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Paula Bunukuk, the great Tingana of the Tinzung Shrine. 
<laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. The, re the reason why I asked it, you did it with so much passion thank and with so much conviction. Thank you. Well done, you were so eloquent. Thank you. You are truly a representation of your culture. Well done. Thank you. Jigwadi, what are your thoughts? I can see the confidence coming through. Where Daga, uh, I think the past couple of weeks, I've just seen you get better and better. Today, I saw a very confident you. One of the things that I was looking for in this competition to be entertained is originality. I just love the way you changed from one person to another person and you were in performance. So that was for us. I mean, I think for all of us, I speak we a great job. Wedaga, I love the way you represented your region with pride. Thank I mean, you. every single hit the energy you put behind it. I was just in awe when I saw you come out with your outfit. But I like the way you knew every instrument, explained it. Like I said, I'm learning tonight a lot, but you taught me. But one thing that got me was the pride with which you represented your region. Thank you. Keep that up no matter where you go because it makes you very distinctive. Thank you. Well done. Proudly you. from the Upper East region. Even before I get to the judges, Jeanette is already saying, wow, wow. Uh, Did Wedago wow you, Jeanette? Oh. Wow, what a way to end the show tonight. Oh, thank you. What Mama. a way to end the show. Well, I, this was a whole new level. Thank you. Oh. Little, little, li I, and I'm, I'm nitpicking here, very tiny, but you know, your diction, your pronunciation, the tonality, the rise and fall of your voice, your eyes, the way you engage that you did a fantastic job. All right, comments from judges as well as reactions from studio audience. Sometimes I wish that there were cameras in the various homes so we could also take reactions from your homes. But of course, we know exactly what you think when the judges' comments come in. But Aga, I want to come back to you. So I asked you a question a few moments ago. That how was it for you? The confidence that you exude. Has it been something you learned, prepared from the house, your own house in the Upper East before coming into this competition or it was everything you gathered on your journey right here, GMB 2021? I have always been this confident girl. You see, growing up, of all talents, the only talent God gave me is talking. Hmm. Yes, I can't dance. If you I ask me to no sing, oh, it will be a mess over here. Okay. But talking, mm. when you ask me to talk for the whole world, I would for that one from morning to evening. I'll mm. never get tired of it. Mm. Yes, I remember one day my dad told me, Princess, I said, Daddy, that one day people start running away from me. I said, Daddy, why? Now you can't talk. I said, Daddy, okay, I've heard you, I'll change. But still, this right, is me. Right. So, and, and I used to debate as early as class five, that was 10 years. Oh, my, so my, you have a debating yes, background. Yes, I have a debating background. Mm. My, my class teacher said, you can debate, start it. I was like, okay. So I, I began from there. Then JHS, I was debating, I was in the drama club, then I went to Yasantua Girls. Amazingly, when I, get, or I got to Yasantua Girls, in Form 1, I represented Yasantua for a debate, and we won a trophy. Okay. Then I became the president for the writers, drama and debaters club, right. overall president. Right. Then I was the advisor to the regional vice president of the Ashanti Regional Writers, drama and debaters club. So this, this is me. I, I always portray me. So this is just I what clear, I now understand. Clear case, clear case of exactly. preparation, meeting, opportunity. That's what I'll say for you. Now, Seto, you are one lady who was the talk of town when you decided to compete for this very competition. I mean, a doctor. A medical yeah. doctor. So everybody was like, oh, wow, doctors in our home. <laughs> and I believe that you have actually opened the door for so many other future contestants yeah. to be part of GMB. Why did you even decide, as a medical doctor, why do you even think that it was okay for you to be here? <laughs> And what message? Okay, so actually there are so many reasons why I'm in GMB. Mm. And what people don't know is that uh, pageantry and actually social stuff is something that has been part of me from childhood. Okay. If you watch my debut, my mom talked about the fact that I was face of senior high school 2010. Mm. So pageantry is something I started at a very early age. When I was in Cuba, I, I represented Ghana. 
in Miss Africa Cuba. Okay. And I won Miss Personality. So these are things that I have done. And I've done so many social things. Like, I can go on and on about listing them. Some of them you probably have seen on my social media handles. So these are things that I do. This is me. Mm. Um, medicine. Medicine runs in my family. Ah. Um, it's something I've always wanted to do. But if you know, my dad is a doctor. My mom as well. My dad's a gynecologist and my mom a dental surgeon. So it's something that sort of runs in the blood. Wow. But it's something I've always wanted to do. So I'd, I'd describe myself as a jack of all trades. Right. Yes. And so... Why did I want to do this? I've seen a lot of social problems going on in Ghana, some of them affecting the economy, some of them affecting people's personal lives, some of them, my project on the final day, I really want people to know, because it's one thing that is really affecting the society, affecting so many things that people don't know about. So some of these things are the things that motivate me. I felt like GMB was a good platform for people to hear me talk about the social issues that can actually be tackled. So that is my motivation, actually. I was worried about how my colleagues were going to take it. So that was my fear during the launch. But trust me, they embraced it so beautifully, and I love them for it. Thank you to all the doctors. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> and we absolutely love you and we're Daga as well. I mean, that was a bold step. And we commend you. You've made your other doctor colleagues yeah. and friends yeah. very proud of you. And I'm sure we're Daga as well, your family, every Sunday they are here cheering you on and all of that. Ladies, you, you need to be proud of yourself. Right. I mean, just being here, you've done absolutely well. And we're all, you know, getting ready for the 3rd of October. I can't wait, ladies. <laughs>